Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 20th through the 26th of June, 2021. I hope you guys are doing well. I am gonna take just a second to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, you can check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. And also, if you'd like a private reading, I will be happy to help you with that. The directions are in the box beneath this video. Keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual. And also, the timelines are variable. So let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Okay, so Scorpio, we start out with the King of Cups reversed. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the King of Wands reversed. Interesting. Okay. So, um, hmm. so Scorpio, so you are you are showing up in your reading, but you're not in the best of moods here. You're not in the best of humors. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat that if you are in some kind of a competition of some form with a fire sign, um, they're equally as worried about you. Now, the fire sign would be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, um, but they're equally as worried about you with regard to whatever this might be. And it could be anything. It could be work. could be um, in love. It could be, you know, a friendly competition. But what I'm going to tell you is it's going to go your way um, because you have the wheel of fortune here in your energy and it's in the upright. So that, that basically means that everything's going your way. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, so if none of that applies to you, um, take what applies to you. But in addition to that, what I'm seeing is that um, Scorpio, there may be a situation that you have kind of pulled back from. You're not taking any action on this, um, this, uh, situation. Um, and you may even have a sense of, of hurt. Um, for some of you, you've kind of closed down emotionally. You're not giving to the situation. There would, would have been some turbulence involved with this emotionally. Um, that too is going to go in your way. Um, Things are, you have the will of fortune, so that means that whatever this situation is that you're dealing with, it's, it's moving in your direction. Now, it may not feel like it right now, but whatever is happening is happening in your best interest. It's how, it's going to turn out good for you, all right? I don't see you taking any action towards anything right now, though. I see you really holding back emotionally and also with action. I don't see you really taking action. Let's see who you're connected with here. Okay, so we have the King of Swords also in the reverse. Um, so you might very well be dealing with a air sign. That would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, <laughs> and I can tell you right now that if you are dealing with a an air sign right now, they're, they're, they're a little pissed. They're not happy at all. Um, and they might not be acting very nice. So we have the Five of Cups reversed. And coming out together, we have the Five of Swords reversed as well as the Ace of Wands also reversed. So this person is going through some kind of a karmic cycle or a karmic lesson. Um, you may have had a, you may have had a, uh, a um, dispute with this person. You've had some conflict with them. The conflict is ended, but when the conflict ended, whatever happened, you came out on top. And so the conflict ended, the connection or the possibility of a connection also ended. And this person is very unhappy about it, Scorpio. Um, you're not happy about it either, but they're, they're pissed. Um, yeah. And it, it, it's in your best interest. Um, now with the five of cups in the reverse, 
this person has some regrets, I think, for the way that they may have behaved. Um, so, yeah, they, they have some regrets. Let's see the energy of this connection. Yeah, so there was conflict here with someone. And you know what? Um, this person was determined that they were going to win at all costs, and then they didn't. Oops, too many cards. Yeah, they were determined they were going to win, and, and they didn't, and that's why they're pissed. So we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse and we have the Moon reverse. Okay, so there may have been some information that came out, a secret of some kind, um, possibly, um, or maybe this person just had a realization or you did, but there was a realization with the ending of this. Now, I will say that this, there's a loss here. There could have been financial loss, um, but there definitely was a loss here. This may have been a long-term connection. Um, it looks like a long-term connection where there were shared finances, and it does look like there was a loss, and there was a, there's been some realizations as well, some, some uh, sudden realizations. Let's, uh, let's see what's directly affecting this connection. Those realizations were in connection with the loss, too. Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, the love drained out of this connection. This was a long-term connection that ended. This may have been a, a bitter ending. Um, this looks like a bitter ending, Scorpio. And there may have been someone else involved um, waiting in the wings over here who also isn't happy about it, but I, that's only for a few of you. Um, I can tell you, though, that the person you're connected with, Scorpio, they they do have some regrets for some of the things that, that took place, but this they had determined they were going to win at all costs. They didn't care who got hurt. This did end. Um, the conflict has also ended. There's been a loss in it. And this person's had some realizations. Um, what's directly affecting it is that the love drained out of this. I do think things went in your direction, in your way. What is the outcome of this? The hangman reverse. Yeah, so now looking at this, both parties looking at this in a different way, viewing the, the connection differently. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. So, um, this is underlying energy, so basically just looking at options, possibly some confusion as well, but looking at options, uh, let's see, let's see why we have you in the reverse. Why is the King of Cups in the reverse? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups reversed and the Strength card. So you're trying to be more optimistic. You're trying to be optimistic about this situation, um, but it's taken a lot out of you. you. It's taken a lot of courage, a lot of strength for you to deal with this situation. And, and you are trying to be optimistic. So you probably don't appreciate me saying you're in the, the reverse, <laughs> but I mean, that's just what the energy is showing me. Um, it looks like it was a, a negative situation. Anytime you have conflict with the Five of Swords, that's that's kind of a destructive, negative kind of conflict. So, I mean, I'm not judging you. Um, it, it looks like it's a difficult situation. And you've actually gone through it with a, you know, you had some a lot of sadness, but you now are, are trying to be more optimistic here. And you've had a lot of strength in dealing with it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? So I'm not criticizing you, Scorpio. And there's that tower in reverse right there. Same tower, okay? Um, and we have temperance in reverse. So now picking, oh wait, that's not the tower though. That's the moon. Yeah, but it, it looks similar. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so 
So what's gonna go in your favor after everything is said and done, after everything has collapsed, after it's all done, um, that's when, that's, that's what's going, the collapse of all of this is actually in your favor. It may be difficult, I know it's taken a lot for you to deal with it with this strength card, but you'll pick up the pieces here. Um, you're gonna have to heal and you're gonna have to rebalance. But what you, what Spirit wants you to know is that this is actually for the best. This is in, in your best interest here. Um, why is the King of Wands reversed here? The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So two knights there. Um, and this Knight of Wands has become a Knight of of Knight of, of Wands has become a king. So there may have been somebody that you've met. Um, if you if you did, it may have been kind of off and on. It may have been a little bit erratic. Um, that person's not real happy, um, kind of sitting on the sidelines. But that person will very slowly progress from a knight into a king. Um, I don't see, I think that if you have met somebody, for those of you who have met somebody, I think that that, that connection will progress. It will progress from, you know, a knight. And so this may be somebody that you feel kind of rushed in and rescued you, kind of maybe they were there for you. Um, they were an ear for you to talk to. They, they kind of swooped in, but then maybe they were gone um, just as quickly. This person, um, for those of you that this is a person, this person is going to mature into a king, but right now they're not quite there. It's going to be a slow and steady progress, though, towards that. Um, for those of you that this is not a person, um, I don't see you taking any, any action right now, but I think that as you heal, you will slowly begin to take action. It's not going to be all at once. It's, it's going to be a little sporadic, but you're slowly um, going to be healing and moving forward from this. So, yeah, you, there's definitely, this is going to be a, a progression, but it's going to be a slow and it's going to be off and on kind of thing. It's not going to be like um, one day you just wake up and you, you're healed from it. What I am going to say is that it is, this has happened in your best interest, even though I know it's a loss for you. Let's look at the person you're dealing with. We have the King of Swords reversed. Okay, so we have the Three of Coins reversed, very uncooperative, Three of Cups reversed. Um, yeah, this person was uncooperative, unhappy, angry. Uh, five of Cups reversed. Yeah. Maybe holding on to their money. Um, so we have the Four of Coins. So this, this person is also very guarded. They do have some regrets for things that have happened. Um, I do think that their behavior may have been out of being unhappy and and you know angry and sad um, but they are trying to move forward as well um, I do also think though that this person um, they may have been kind of holding on to their money so you know there could be financial um, issues with this as well so let's see um, can I get three for that final energy Okay, so we see the ending. Um, they're not, they were not emotionally fulfilled. They're not emotionally fulfilled. Um, but they didn't want you to be single. Wow. So they, and they couldn't manifest this, um, this connection. They couldn't manifest it. So um, they may have tried to manifest it and, <laughs> okay, so I don't quite know how to say this. For, and you'll know who this belongs to. It's not for everybody, but there were 
there was someone out there that um, they were unable to have sexual relations with you um, because their equipment wasn't working properly. So um, they just were unable to, to perform. Um, and so there was a lack of emotional fulfillment as well. And this person, there was a lot of emotions tied in with that. They felt there was guilt, there was anger, and that anger became projected towards you. So while they, they couldn't keep the connection together, but they still didn't want you to be single. They were possessive of you. Yep. All right, so let's see. Can I get three for this connection? And that's why they were so determined they were going to win this at all costs. So this, this person, Scorpio, has a lot of work to do on themselves. Now, if I have a cross watcher and, you know, you're looking at this and you're saying, it's not me, it's Scorpio, you know, just keep in mind the energies, this picks up energies and so energies um, reverse. All right, so I do see the ending here. And I do see that there's been realizations. Um, and healing is going to come to both parties after this ending. So in that healing, um, for you, there is going to be a loss, Scorpio. But I see a new beginning. So especially if you are part of the group that has this person that is kind of maturing from a knight into a king. Um, I do see a new beginning here, and it will be very healing for you. For the person that um, you're connected to here, they're also going to have a healing. They've realized that they have to walk away from this. So I do see healing for both parties after this loss. Um, why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse? Yeah. Ten of, ten of coins reversed again. Double energy. And then again, the king of wands reversed. So, so I don't think that, um, I don't think that your person here, w I don't think that they wanted, they didn't, they were not feeling the love either, but they weren't willing to take action to end it. Like I said, they, they were not happy. They couldn't manifest this connection together properly, but they didn't want to let you go. They were possessive of you. So they were not going to take action to end this connection, um, even though they knew that you were not happy. So you had to be the one to end it. So I believe you were the one who ended it, Scorpio. Um, can I get three for the outcome? Okay, so the end result is that after a long period of time, um, justice is going to be served, and that may be legal. That may be the legal papers here if this is a divorce. If not, it's um, just the, um, it's basically the balancing out of everything karmically um, and emotionally. And the result of that, Scorpio, is that you will be leaving your past behind. You'll be looking at this all differently in time. You'll be leaving your past behind. The person you are connecting with here or connected with, they also will gain a new perspective on it. They will begin to balance out, but they will cease communication with you. Um, I think it will just be too painful for them to communicate. So they're going to cease communication with you. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the two of swords. So a decision here has been made. Somebody has looked at their options. They've, they've kind of, you know, gone back and forth, sized everything up and they've now made a decision. Um, so, and I do believe that's you Scorpio. I do. I believe that you've made a decision. 
because I don't think this person would ever end the connection, no matter how miserable they may be or you may be. I don't see them doing it. They just are, they're, they're possessive of you for some, some reason. They're just maybe not as healthy as they need to be. Um, so let's go ahead now and pull a Oracle card and see if we can get some guidance from spirit for you for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Okay. Oh, this is a beautiful card too. Um, the name of the card is Walk With Wings. Love that. Um, so I'm going to read this directly from the book and I want to hold it up because these cards are actually very visual as well. Um, and I find that there's so much detail on them. So I want to be sure that I don't miss anything. I think that's beautiful. Walk With Wings. Okay, so it says... Um, Lake walks a narrow and spiky path, but she's relaxed and confident. Maybe it's because she has no fear of falling, thanks to her wings. We all need metaphorical wings, a steady partner, relative, or friend. Yet she isn't reminding you of your wings, but the gift of being someone else's wings. Is there someone in your life who needs lifting? Or maybe you just need to be around in case they slip. You might find that your own wings are broad enough to carry two. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if this isn't for you, though. Um, so, definitely, if there is someone else involved, you, you could be there for them. Um, it's also a good reminder, Scorpio, that when we work our way through something very difficult, and I can see this was a difficult situation, it then gives us the ability to hold a hand back and help someone else in the future who may need that help. So you could always be a guide to someone else having gone through this situation. So, but I do think that you, um, in this situation, you definitely can walk with wings. You have no fear of falling because this wheel of fortune is going your way. This tower is collapsing. You will pick up these pieces and you will walk with wings. So, um, I think that then in the future, perhaps spirit will use this experience to let you help someone else. All right. Well, I hope this has been very helpful to you, Scorpio. Um, if you would like and share the video, um, I hope you will go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop me a comment. Um, I read all of your comments and until I see you next week, namaste.